Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. Uh, I was going through my videos a little bit ago and noticed I really don't have that many videos for someone who's been on YouTube for as long as I have. And it just, it just kind of dawned on me, really. Uh, but I want to try to start making more videos. Um, you know, get some more reviews out. But even in between reviews that do take up a good bit of a good bit of time, you know, with uh, trying to get it right, editing the right, the right conditions, whatnot. Uh, but I've, I do want to make some more videos, like the last video I uploaded where I'm just kind of rambling about a about a topic or ranting. Um, I also want to start doing some of these videos every now and then, just kind of taking a look at a knife website, and seeing some new products that are available, and just kind of talk about them. You know, just kind of express my opinions on some of these and get some other people's opinions also. So, I'm here on uh, Blade HQ, probably my favorite knife website. I'm not associated with them in any way. They're just one of my favorite knife websites. <clears throat> so, I uh, just want to take a look at some of these knives that are new in stock and just kind of talk about them. Now, these are new in stock as of right now. Right now, it is August 20th. So, these are really popular now. The, uh, the Microtech DOC, the DOC. Uh, that's a Tony Marfione custom. You can see the outrageous price. Of course, to some people, that's not outrageous. I know some people that would buy like five of those at once and not even blink an eye. I don't know how anybody could actually do that in this economy, but you know, if you can, more power to you. There's a double action one. I like the way they look. My, my only problem with Microtech's folding knife designs like these is that I'm just not a big fan of how slim the handle is compared to how wide the blade is. I know a lot of people like that design. It's just a feature that does not personally appeal to me. What I mean by that is you can see the blade is much more wide than the handle. I just don't really like that. It's just aesthetically. And two, most of these handles, like this is just pure carbon fiber. There is nothing in it. All it has is that steel... Um, lock bar insert basically it's like a free floating frame it only covers about that much of the knife and then the rest of it's just carbon fiber so you have a small carbon fiber a small almost 100 percent carbon fiber handle and then that big beefy steel blade and it makes for or it's going it would make for a very blade heavy knife and i'm not into blade heavy knives at all that is a huge pet peeve of mine i like even blade to handle weight ratio or I like more weight to be in the handle not the blade it just feels cheap to me that's just my opinion though here's a funky looking one combat ready knives EDA the everyday axe that's kind of funky I think it looks kind of cool though to be honest with you yeah that over travel stop to frame lock nice earth brown G10 I, or tan I like it I think it looks very different. I cannot see what you'd actually use it for. This That's it in the open position. Chisel ground blade. I do not see what you would really use that for. Uh, what is the blade length? Two, almost three inches. Yeah, I really don't see what you'd use it for, but it is very interesting. I do kind of like it. Right there, you got some multi-tools. I'm really digging this, guys. I love this new Boker Plus Nano. With the, the black blade and the brown FRN. I wish it was G10. It would not cost much to make it G10. I mean, the knife's already almost $50. Just for a steel frame lock, 440C steel, and FRN. They could make that G10 at that price. So I'd like it, honestly, if it did come in that configuration, I'd buy it. I just don't care for FRN. I think it feels cheap. Um, you know, I just don't care for it that much. But I do like that coloration. Also, I wonder if it's on here. Lime green configuration they have. Also, these are really nice. The Sniper Blade Works knives. Yeah, here's what I want right here. Can't afford it, but that's what I want. It's about, it's more than double the price of my most expensive knife in my collection. Uh, I guess it's not on here. But anyway, they did have the lime green FRN version. It looked really good. Um, some coming soon things I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Um, here's a knife that I thought I would like. Let me get a better picture of it. 
the the Zancudo, Zancudo, however you'd pronounce that. Okay, one, this is not at all the design <laughs> that I saw in the prototype of the SE folder. Um, the original SE folder was going to be a folding Izula design, which looked fantastic. Um, I honestly don't like the way this looks. It's kind of like the Azula, but it's it's different. It has the same kind of handle design. By the way, that's the same clip that's used on the Kershaw leak and blur. <laughs> I don't know how they got away with doing that, but... Well, I mean, it's not trademarked or anything, but... Same clip. But, I don't know, I just... I just don't dig it. I don't like... It's kind of an odd blade shape. It kind of looks like a butter knife blade shape. If that makes sense. I just... I don't like it. There's just something about it. It's just off to me. Uh, the price is okay. But then you come down here look at the materials. Os 8. Okay, it's not bad. Um, Taiwan made. And the material... It doesn't say right here. But it is FRN. It's not real G10, if I'm not mistaken. So... I don't know. I I just don't like it. I really wish they would have stuck with the um, stuck with the folding Izula design. I think it would have looked kind of neat, or it would have been neat if they had stuck with the same steel. If they had a 1095 folder, I've never seen a folding knife with 1095 steel. Um, or do some of the tops folding knives have 1095? I'm not sure. This looks really cool. Something ZT is doing now. They're doing the uh, the DLC stone wash. It looks really good. So the DLC coat, the titanium, and the blade, and then stonewash it. Looks just outstanding. You have the pocket clip is blackened. The lock bar stabilizer. Everything's black except... I don't know why they didn't black out the thumb stud. Um, I'm not sure. But it looks great. I love it. Um, it's coming soon. Don't know how much it's going to be. It's probably going to be 180 to 300 I'm guessing like three hundred dollars, which is ridiculous. This is gorgeous. I really like this. The 801 CF, beautiful bronze anodizing. Love it with those carbon fiber overlays and that kind of different grind. Instead of the stone wash, which I don't mind it, but I don't know. I kind I prefer satin over the stone wash that ZT does. So I think that looks really good. You can see the grind lines. It's really nice. I don't believe the original Rexford 801 has this little swedge up top. So I really like the way that looks. And it looks a little bit different overall. Like it has the titanium, it says right there. I think it's what it says. No, it says zero tolerance, my bad. Zero tolerance right there in the middle, which I think the original 801 has it in the bottom right here. So it's changed up a little bit. Um, not here again. I'm not going to be able to afford that. It's way too much. It's going to probably be about $300 when it comes out. Um, it's too much for me. I like that it has a stainless steel insert, but if it's like the other one that Jay Davis had, they did a video on recently showing that the lock can push all the way in until it touches the other side of the frame. Don't like that. I really don't. I don't know what ZT is doing. They cannot seem to get their folders right. Um, I just don't get it. With all the problems I've had with my ZT0561 and 560s, and then all the other people I've heard with the same problem, and then all the people I hear with the problem of the 801, and all the people I hear about having problems with um, some of the other ones, they just can't seem to get it right. <laughs> I'm ready to get it right, they just can't. They, they get it right with some. Whoops. Whoa, why'd you do that? Okay. This is beautiful. I love this. 0454 or 454. I love this. It kind of looks like their version of a military. It kind of has that Spyderco military feel. It's a flipper. It's got that floating um, insert like the Kershaw knockout. If ZT can just start making knives like Kershaw, they would have no problem. I've never had a problem with Kershaw knives. With lockup, fit and finish, never had a problem with Kershaw. But ZT is technically a little bit different, even though they're both owned by Kai. ZT kind of does their own thing. 
and I just wish they would uh, consult Kershaw. This is a, also looks like it's going to have that stainless steel lock interface. A different clip. It's a different clip that Zero, Zero Tolerance is going to be using. It's that same kind of composite blade. Um, that's not too bad looking. I hate the composite blade of the uh, 0563 CF, whatever it is. You know, the uh, carbon fiber version of the 0560. I hate that little lightning bolt pattern from the composite blade. I just do not like the way that looks. kind of tacky. This isn't bad. I don't mind this as much. Um, it's not too bad. A carbon fiber. I cannot believe how much the retail price is. Which means this is going to be about a $400 knife like the Tilt when it comes out. And it's ridiculous because all it is is CPM D2. Which is okay, but D2 isn't worth that much. And it's not that great of a steal. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really digging that. But I love the design. Overall, the design is beautiful. I love it. So two highly, two very expensive knives. Um, here's one that's kind of neat. Never seen a a Spyderco double grind before. They're calling it the Spyderco double bevel. It's very different. I don't, I don't mind it. The only thing is that Spyderco is making such strides in innovation. You know, they have the uh, their first flipper, the the Southern. Now they have the Domino, which is another beautiful design. Uh, looks a little bit like the Sage 1, but it's not bad. I like it. I'm probably going to end up getting one. Uh, they have the Techno, just beautiful. Obviously, you know, I just did a review on that. But then this is a very innovative design, yet they're kind of reverting back to the old Spyderco formula of black G10, <clears throat> excuse me, black G10 everything, hourglass clip, satin blade. So it's just kind of going back to the old formula, and I'm not really digging it. If they had put this blade on a different looking handle, maybe, then, you know, I might dig it. That's also VG10. Here again, it's it's just been done. So, they're kind of going backwards on that design, in my opinion. Oh, this is neat. This is really neat. The, the Zabo, the Lazi Zabo, it has the same domino. Spartaco Domino C, uh, carbon fiber pattern, which honestly I don't really like that much. That's the one hit I would give the Domino, is that I'm not digging that pattern. It's here again. It's just kind of tacky looking in my opinion. I wish they'd gone with a colored G10 for it. Maybe they will in the future. Maybe they'll have a sprint run of the Domino with a colored G10 scale. This is different. I like the blade shape. It's uh, very much like the. Spyderco Military, just a little bit modified. Cannot stand the handle design. But here again, they're doing something different. The pocket clip is also different. So that's not bad. CTS, XHP, I'm glad they're going with that steel more often. Same with the Spyderco Domino. I'm liking six, six, uh, CTS, XHP. I love that blue Nishigen carbon fiber. It looks really good. So that looks neat. A new Cricut for you guys to collect. I've never been into the Cricut, to be honest. It was just too small for me to carry. There's a nice Chaparral. Stepped Titanium. That looks pretty cool. Here, here again, not really a knife I've ever cared that much about. A bunch of these cheap Boker knives. Honestly, you know, Boker comes out with some really good-looking knives, in my opinion. Um, they come out with some really good looking stuff. Um, like this. This is a really cool looking knife. It's just Boker comes out with these really, really cool looking knives when you just, you look at them and it's like, wow, I think I really need to own that. But then it's just, they flop the quality a lot of times. Like 440C. I'm not that big into 440C. This is really cool. It's a Sniper Blade Works collaboration. They're doing uh, the Dark Hollow. It, this is based on the DH. I really like this. I think that I'll probably get this. Well, they already have, they already did the um, the S2, which is a Sniper Blade Works collaboration. So it makes sense they do this one also. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting this. I'm not really a big fan of the S2, but I might pick one of these up. 
the price would probably be around 100 bucks. So I hope they don't flop the quality like they do on a lot of their knives. Like the, um, oh, what's it called? I can't remember. Um, I really like this, the Mini Slick. That's really cool. I, I definitely want to pick one of these up. The price is right. Just one of those cool little knives. <laughs> if it's one thing that I think Boker does extremely well is make fixed blades. They make great little fixed blades and tools. Folders, eh, so-so. This is pretty cool. Nice looking tomahawk. Um, yeah, the, this is also pretty cool, a little pocket tool. It doesn't have a sheath, it has a pocket clip, which if that's a sharpened edge, I don't know why you would put it in your pocket. <laughs> but here again, they make cool tools. Oh, cool tools. I don't know if you guys, if you're 90s kids, I don't know if you remember those. But anyway, I don't know guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to kind of start making more videos like this, like I said, just kind of talking about knives. <clears throat> and I want to get your guys' opinion. What knife has come out recently that you're really excited about getting? Um, a knife that has just come out that you really want to get, or a knife that has yet to be released that you're looking forward to getting? Or maybe a knife that you got recently that you're really liking? Just leave it in the comments box, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your night. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman614. Peace.